New question, how is Inanera's vision different? Um, for example, Quicken, so that's an unconfused accounting. Well, the long-term vision behind Indonero is that we want to be automatic, first and foremost, and then intelligent. And behind automatic, that means not just downloading data from banks and credit cards, that's, that's pretty straightforward to do, but, um, but being able to do all the other things with that data, for example, categorizing those transactions, bringing in check images from banking websites and scanning in the vendor on that check image. Um, as far as being more intelligent, we want to be able to um, help you predict the future of your business and plan for the future. And that's something that accounting software just doesn't focus on. Accounting is always about the past. What has happened with my books in the past? And there hasn't yet been a financial software that really helps you plan for the future. And I think that's going to be a big differentiator for us in the next 12 to 18 months. I'll be right back. More water. All right. Another reader question that I recently got was, how do you negotiate and what are some tips on negotiating? And I think that negotiating is an entrepreneur's most important skill, actually. I mean, other than building a product, you're negotiating every day, whether it be with investors, with hiring new people. And if you don't practice negotiating, you're going to lose a lot of value from your business without doing any work. Like, I noticed that during Y Combinator, if I'm raising money at 2x evaluation from any of my peers based only because of my negotiating skills, then I give away half as much as my peers from doing just as much or little work as they are as far as fundraising goes. So I go to Amazon.com, search for negotiating, and buy the first book you find on, on that search result page. And that's, that's really going to help you out. New question. Any web app development lessons learned, for example, scaling, and how would you do it differently? Um, I think the biggest lessons learned from web app development is, I mean, everyone talks about this, but very few people practice it. It's just launching something as soon as possible. And it's like, it's, even in our company today, it's, it's an ongoing debate. Like, how much work do we want to put into it versus how soon do you want to launch it? And almost always, it makes more sense to lean on the former. You just want to launch it sooner than later. And it's, it's an ongoing problem that we have to work on because as you start hiring out your team, you're going to notice that your engineers and designers strive for perfection because their job ability is based on how good they've done, but for your business, what you care about most as the founder is how fast are you moving and how quickly can you iterate? So just be mindful of that. 